Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we run the playwright test from the command line. Okay, so here in the last tutorial, we discussed right how we run the playwright test by using the Visual Studio code directly. But now I am going to show how we run the test from the command line. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we run all test, how we run the test in head, headed mode, how we run the test on a specific project. What is the project? I will explain and so how we run on a specific project. Running a single test file. If you want to run a single file, how we run run files that have some specific text. Okay, like we will pass here some file context which will contains and all the files will run run the test with the title of test okay so these five way six way i will show how we run the test from the command line so let's see how we run all the test okay so first of all you can go here click and go to the new terminal it will open new terminals and path is your current project automatically it will move so now if i want to run the test so just run play npx playwright and type the command test okay it will start running all the tests by default it will run in headless mode and all the tests which are available under the test folders why it will run only for the test folders because here in the file config file playwright i have mentioned here test directory test folders so it will execute all the tests which is available under the test folder so by default it will run the test on three browsers chromium firefox and webkit okay and in headless mode if we want to run in headache mode we can just and comment here right in the use section we have we can add the key and its value false key head headless colon false one thing we can do second thing when we are running you can see six tests using four workers so four workers means four running parallelly in four instances six tests basically we have only two files but it is running on three browsers so three into two there are six tests is running okay six tests are running in four instances parallelly in four browsers now test is done run successfully here you can see six passed all the tests run in headless mode now we can open and see the result so for the result we can say see by running the command npx playwright so report enter npx not npm you can see browser is launched and report is open so one example second example fine so it run on three browsers chromium firefox webkit second file is also executed on these three browsers okay next if we want to run in headed mode okay so there are two ways we can run one change the here headless value okay comment and comment this headless equal to false so in that case it will run in headed mode and you will see the browser let's see Yeah, now you can see the browser is launching test is running okay our test is six test, test is run in headed mode now if we have not set the value headless equal to false in the uh, config file playwright config file then how we run from the command line 
So in the command line, we can just pass key like here hyphen hyphen headed. And if we pass this, you will see your test will start running in headed mode. Means you can see the browsers. Now you can see test is running and we can see the browsers. It is running on headed mode. Okay, execution done. Now, by default, you can see this is running on three browsers, but if you want to run any specific browsers, so we have already here projects named different different projects Chromium, Firefox, WebKit. If we want to run any specific uh, pro project, then we can just use here. Hyphen hyphen project and then pass the project name. Like if I want to run Chromium, pass here the Chromium and click enter. Now you can see two tests is running on two workers. So now only the test is running like Chrome test is, test is running on Chrome browser. Remaining two Firefox and Edge is not working. Let's see the, the report. Both tests you can see executed only on one browser that is Chrome. Okay, second test if I go, you will see this is also executed on the Chromium browser. Okay, so we can run by passing the project name, we can run on any specific project. Next, suppose that we want to run a single file, then how we run? Pass the command same and then pass the file name. Here, like we have example dot spec dot js. So if I run it now, all the tests will run only which is available under the example file. Now you can see only one test is executed. Let me run the and show the reports. One test that can are under the examples. Right, so we can run a specific files by passing the file name along with the command. Okay, file name. Now run a specific as uh, text in the file name. Like suppose that we have here example, and if you want to run only the example, right? Uh, all the test which file contains the example, right? So we can just pass here the example and if I run, it will run only the example.spec file. And we have suppose that HRM, HRL. If I click, you will see because the HRL is contained in the second test here, right? So what now in this case, HRM, uh, orange HRM test will execute. Let's see the report. Log verify login functionality orange HRM. Right. So we have passed the sum value here, like HRL. This file contains HRL. So we passed here. So it will execute the files which contains file name contains HRL. We can run also with any specific test by passing the test title. So in that case, we need to use the hyphen G and pass the title of the test in double quotes. Like if you want to run here, verify login functionality, okay, of orange HRM, just pass the title by passing the hyphen G, okay, and click. Okay, now you can see only one test orange HRM login test will execute. Okay, on only a single browser. Okay, so now I have done. So these are the hope, these are the commands that will be helpful for you, and you can use your 
in your project and execute your tests from the command lines. And this will be very helpful when we are running our tests in CI mod, mod CI CD process, right? So these commands will be helpful in that case, much helpful. Otherwise, if you are using and running the test locally, then Visual Studio Code is the best option. You can use the Visual Studio to run any specific test by clicking on play button. Okay.